This sensor is a light block sensor or a photo interrupter. It's connected to ground in the middle 5 volt and a signal cable. This is how it works. There is a, this side is sending an optical signal and this side is receiving it. And if this pin has no input then it sends a, a signal. Uh, this pin is uh, sensitive, that means uh, those buckets are, uh, are used inside smoke detectors and if somebody sprays some, some perfume then it will detect just a little bit but not enough to activate the alarm. If somebody smokes a cigarette like uh, 5 meters away from the detector, this pin detects the value but not enough to activate the alarm. But when there is a fire, the input is, is very high, it will ring the alarm. And this is how I connected it to the board. This uh, is the photo detector. It's connected to the analog pin A0, to the plus and to the ground. I have a buzzer, which is connected to pin 13, plus and the ground. And you see the buzzer is 13 and pin is A0. Inside the compiler we set up the pins, we set up the monitor, we define the, the buzzer as an output and inside the loop we read an analog value from the sensor and we print the value as you can see over here and if that value is smaller than 50 it says clear sky as you can see over here but when I put uh, invisible plastic in it like I do now you see that it says it detects something and it says bad moon rising like over here and then it sets the buzzer high, it's, it's looping in the sound and it gives the sound loop a value of 2, which is a short signal. So it's, it's, it's kind of an alert system. And this morning I woke up with this song, Bad Moon Rising. If I put one single piece of paper in the cell, like now, it says trouble in the sky and it gives the sound loop a value of 5 so it, it, it cycles 5 times so the, the sound is longer than it was at the bad moon rising and when I put a double a double paper in there you, say, you see it says run baby run the house is on fire and it gives a, a sound signal of 10 cycles. And this is the sound loop uh, with a duration value. And this is the sound signal, like the bleep bleep. And it, it's looping as many times as we give in the duration value. So like over here we give it a value 10, so it cycles 10 times.